never change. Whatever we've grown to think is, is solid and strong and durable is under siege. You don't really have to be a prophet to know that things aren't really going that well. <laughs> the threats are mounting and evil is growing. Darkness is falling. Far too many politicians are just too willing to look away. The shapeshifters are working. They have turned day into night, good into evil. They have changed the very meaning of our words. In New York, the so-called leaders of the world are talking about human rights and the abuses of human rights. But what they do is abuse the very meaning of the phrase human rights. Human rights, they say, but who will they focus on? Libya? Syria? North Korea? No, no. They will condemn Israel, tiny Israel, democratic Israel, free Israel, Israel which values human life above all other things. As usual, Israel is the The world is adrift. The world is confused. In Europe, the great nations of the past, Greek, Greece, Italy, Spain, Britain, they're all falling into violence. We have raised up a generation who cannot tell the difference between what they owe society and what society owes them. They interviewed, they interviewed the rioters, the rioters in England, and they asked them, why, why are you stealing tennis shoes, televisions? Because, the rioters said, because we deserve them. We may think, oh, how different is today's youth. But they are merely imitating their parents. They have seen how the world reacts to evil. Indifference. They watch. They learn. They imitate. What one generation tolerates, the next generation embraces. When the Fogel family was killed in their sleep, the world barely took note. The Grand Councils of Earth condemn Israel, while across the border, Syria slaughters her own people, her own citizens dead in the streets, and the Grand Councils of the world remain silent. It is no wonder why the children of the world are setting their streets on fire. These. These international councils, these panels of so-called diplomats, condemn Israel not because they actually believe that Israel needs to be corrected. They do so because it's convenient. Everybody does it. In some countries, it's a crime not to condemn Israel. <laughs> the diplomats are afraid. They're cowards. And so they submit. They surrender to falsehood. The truth matters not. To the keepers of conventional wisdom, the sacrifice of the truth, that's just a small price to pay. What difference does it make if we beat up a little bit on little Israel? These are the actions 
of the fearful and cowards. But I stand here to tell you this today. Fear is the pathway, the pathway to surrender. To overcome fear, we just need one thing, courage, truth and courage. It is hard to do. It is hard to find if you're not looking. It is hard to do, especially here and especially now, because the plotters plot and the schemers scheme, and it is easy to tremble with doubt. Sadly, even the Israelis that I have met, some of the most courageous people on earth, are beginning to believe the lies and doubt themselves. Maybe we did something to deserve this. Maybe, maybe if we just if we just give a little more of this or we do a little more of this, it'll all go away. The only message that I have for Israel and the Israelis is this. My friends, do not lose hope. You must not lose confidence in yourself. You must of mankind, God is not a stranger to the children of Abraham.
in the 40 years of the wandering in the desert, the ancient Hebrews were led through the darkness by a pillar of fire. Courage is the act of taking that first step into the darkness, but knowing that each step will be guided and protected by a pillar of fire. If we follow him, God will lead us. I have to tell you the truth. This is a relatively new discovery for me. I'm not sure that I really ever believed in the pillar of fire when I was a kid. When my life was out of control, I don't know if I believe it. I don't believe it now. I know it with every fiber of my being. I know it to be true. I was the stereotypical American. First half of my life, I did very little. 